All right, Luke. I have been scoping out the interwebs. I found a lot of clicking going on. Uh oh. <laughs> you get baited? I got baited. Big you get time. baited. Baited and switched and flipped around. I have some headlines for you. We're going to do a segment called Clickbait Headlines where I'm just going to read the headline. Luke's going to give me his best shot at what he thinks the headline's about, and then we're just going to chat about what happened. These are all found online. We'll post them on uh, all the socials wherever we have the this episode. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number one. A broken toilet on SpaceX capsule means astronauts will return to Earth in diapers. I thought it was going to be astronauts will now shit out of a little hole into space. <laughs> Expect more asteroids. <laughs> <laughs> Two S's, I got. Yeah. Um, well, and I'm, when you said they will shit out of a little hole, I just <laughs> pictured an Alien 3 just like getting sucked through like a quarter size hole just through your through your anus. Just like getting fucking turned inside out. That's how they win. The astronaut, the uh, the, the spaceship is shitting them out. Just yeah. <laughs> They don't hear you um, in space when the butthole is getting puckered. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, the I guess the they don't they didn't have a plumber uh, as part of their crew in the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> what an oversight. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that should have been number one. Elon, duh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, either it must not be flush and it's backed up. So they don't, or I don't know. I guess you just keep take keep taking poops on the poop. And then, you know, just as long as you can. But that's probably gross smelling, you know, maybe they're out of, uh, you know, aerosol for breeze cans or whatever, whatever yeah. cleaning smell spray that they have. Right. Um, yeah. So I, but how long, like, did they had the thought of putting diapers on, <laughs> on the ship? It's just but, like, it's like Apollo 13 where yeah. they're just like rigging diapers out of yeah. stuff on the, on the space station. Pulling out wires and the insulation. And they're like freezing, like, what do we do, Houston? What do we do? Houston, we do have a problem. <laughs> There's shit everywhere. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Uh yeah, I mean I don't know. That one's kinda I seem straightforward, I suppose. Okay, like, I put this in down. here because it's a total clickbait headline. You gotta read that. Yeah, you when gotta you see read that. It. You gotta read it. Um but it is straightforward, but it's the 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 humor and the fun is in the details, right? So this is crew two. The name of their ship was Dragon Endeavor. <laughs> and it had a toilet malfunction. <laughs> you said what what was the name of it? The Dragon Endeavor. It was crew two. Crew two. That figure. Yes. <laughs> that, yeah. Yeah. That figure. That's a good one. Exactly. Um, so the funny thing is they've spent 200 days up on the space station, which is a really long time. My favorite part of the article is when one of the astronauts is quoted as saying, this situation is suboptimal. <laughs> <laughs> that dude's an alien. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't actually need. Don't actually need. <laughs> Uh, the bathroom. That's just the kind of psychos that you have to be to be an astronaut. Exactly. <laughs> Looking at this clinically, uh, I'll just hold it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the funny thing is this isn't the first time this has happened on a SpaceX hmm. flight. So I, I love Elon. So this is in a doc. This is just humorous to me that's happening to his flights. This happened on the tourist flight up into space. And it was funny. The way it was described was like piss was like pooling. In, in like the air system like near a fan and i just was picturing like the wealthiest people on the planet be like hey check out how much money i got and just a fan like like just spraying piss into their face in zero g blah blah, blah. like just the droplets just hitting you start them. blowing back because it's like you know, you know like, like, <laughs> you, gotta, ah! you gotta give it the three to Malakio. Malakio. It's in my mouth. Ah! It just like turns into havoc. Like it's just they come down. They're all just mascara. Just fucked up. Oh man, uh, it's hilarious. The last thing I wanted to point this out is they spend twenty hours on their return trip in the capsule. So that's why they're wearing oh. the diapers because they're probably just gonna go number one. But it's just like. <laughs> they just got to do it. What do you do? Hold it. Hold it. Just hold it for 20 minutes. Uh, so anyway, broken toilet, SpaceX, please get that fixed by the time we get to ride on them. Um, Come space lords. <laughs> space lords. All right. All right. Next up we have, 
I'm going to pick this one. Here's the headline. Northern California city turns to lasers in attempt to chase off crows. Oh, dang. Uh, well, that I mean, I guess the crows would have to be infringing on some public space, I'd imagine, or crops or, or something. Yeah. But you said Los Angeles? Northern California. Northern California. Oh, so oh, I guess that's sunny better Valley. better cl- climate than Sunny uh, Valley, yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, either crops or something. Lasers, but how would how would lasers affect like bird are you trying to is there someone there with like a laser pointer just like trying to shoot their eye retina, like burn their eyes and <laughs> then now the crows are just like <laughs> blind flying into windows and snapping their necks. <laughs> you kind of like nailed this. You nailed the whole thing. <laughs> you were you were you were closer when it was like the public spaces oh, with okay. COVID and everybody dining outside. There was major concerns about all of the doo doo everywhere, and uh, I just we got like lasers and spaceships, and we got doo doo <laughs> and pee. Like I, 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 this is very thematic. Anyway, they so it was just they were crapping all over these patios, and it was hard. Deal with it. <laughs> Sit in it. Put a tarp over it. <laughs> just cover it with your hands while you're eating. You're like, yeah, this is very great. <laughs> That's what umbrellas are for. Um, so the I didn't know this, but there's massive amounts of crows out there. Even though crow, crow populations in the U.S. took a huge dive in like the early 2000s, but since have repopulated. And the idea is that they were just crapping all over the way, all over the place, and they found out that lasers, like the intensity of the beam, like did spook them and they would like all fly away and so there was uh some faa concerns <laughs> if like they just had a laser patrol that was just like sh- like laser show like do 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 where like, do you work <laughs> <laughs> laser show yeah laser show i run the laser show in sunnyvale cal yeah <laughs> but they were worried that like planes flying over the pilots would get blinded and uh. but they said no it's just it's just one guy <laughs> Walking around with a, a a laser, and it's it's like a forty thousand dollar laser called like the Laser Wolf five thousand. Uh, yeah, because you know wolves and just kidding, just hunt crows. Twenty dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars, <laughs> and, uh, and all he does is walk around and kind of flick it up into the tree a little. Bit. <laughs> they fly away. Crows like, gah, gah, yeah. Gah. <laughs> uh, but there is concerns by naturalists in the area that you could be harming the 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 crows, but. Anyway, it's been working for them up in Sunnyvale. So I thought it was going to be like they had a gun, like a laser gun, and they were just like, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's, like that's like a legit profession. There's some volcanic, or not volcanic, it's a quarry that's toxic, and they were worried about the bird population. And the, there's about like a group of like 10 people that are hired full time around the clock, and their only job is to scare the birds off the water. That would be an incredible job. You, you know, they, they invented guns, these lasers. things that they put out in like cornfields called scarecrows <laughs> about <laughs> hundred years ago, hundreds of years ago, See, maybe thousands. We, we have modern progressive crows <laughs> that are not afraid of scarecrows. We have lasers, <laughs> the <laughs> biggest lasers. <laughs> Falconers didn't scare them off. So the fear of death well, does. clearly doesn't work on crows. <laughs> they um, murder crows. Crows are badass. <laughs> murder crows, and murders of crows. So anyway, that was that was lasers and crows. Uh, Guinness World Records 2022 honors nine foot gaming joystick created by Dartmouth College professor. Yes, that's the headline. Oh, oh, I thought <laughs> these, you were just throwing facts. At, uh, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Guinness World Records 2022 honors nine foot gaming joystick created by Dartmouth College professor. Okay. Um. So yeah, there's. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. I feel like this is another straightforward one. Like someone just, like you know, robotics, uh, robotics, engineering division of whatever Dartmouth, and they're like, hey, let's make this giant joystick, and it's nine feet tall. And Guinness is like, that's the biggest one we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you this one too. All right. Anyway, it was just interesting because. Um, you kind of mentioned, was it last week, last episode about Dungeons and Dragons bringing people together in a time of COVID and pandemic and video games has definitely also done that. She wanted to do it by bringing people in person because you can't actually operate this by yourself. Oh. So you can't play Pong by yourself. You have to have a person on the other side. like push. Push the door. Yeah, it's, it's like pushing it back and forth. And so she wanted to bring people together around video games. She built this thing in 2006. Oh, wow. And it took 
finally. It took yeah, <laughs> yeah. It took sixteen years to get the Guinness World Record book to like recognize it as the biggest joystick in the world. Uh, this guy gets around. He's been to the UK, to Spain, in like kind of a art meets science Ooh. kind of tour, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's like, is that like you have that one person like commanding everyone, like all right. Push up on the joystick, yeah. and then one guy pushes. Okay, push back against down now. <laughs> jump on the A button, and then someone jumps. On it, it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it takes like five people because you got people working the joystick, people calling it, and then it takes like you have to like push the jo- the button down as one person. It takes like one yeah. person to push it down. So it sounds like a bit. Uh, I started going on a tangent, but there's this game called Artemis. I yeah. think it was the name that played a long time ago. But it's it's like your space. Uh, you're on a space mission and you have, you know, your group, everyone has their laptop or something. And then like the TV screen with the game on it, but everyone's linked in and everyone has a job. Like you have the captain, you have the uh, engineer, you have, uh, you know, the weapons guy, you have someone that's doing like the communications and then the captain's like calling out what everyone should be doing and where you're going. And like, you know, the weapons people are, you know, firing at other enemy ships. But it, that just sounds like <laughs> just for the one joystick. But it, we should play that. Sometime. But in person, Sorry. I was going to say, no, yeah. that sounds awesome. I'd love to yeah. play that because now I, I've been uh, not to go on a tangent, but we're going to go on a tangent. We already did it. <laughs> we're we're gone. Chaos, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Royales these days. I've been playing with some of my closest friends and family, and I've noticed that the they just want somebody to be gunshot fi- fodder like they're they're not a lot of time <laughs> like they're just like you go 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 in there go in there go in there yeah. but they're like being abusive at it. Like, <laughs> get the book in there like that. you just like go in there you get shot and then they go in and clean Dude, up because, why you die well because they just <laughs> no, clean up they get yeah. the kds and, uh, or the kill streaks and all that so i it's like Artemis sounds cool because it's like collaborative. This joystick thing sounds cool because imagine two teams with nine foot joysticks. That yeah. would be hilarious yeah, to watch. Yeah, the, Olymp- the Olympics. <laughs> so you gotta have one guy riding the top of it for the trigger button. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> that's the metaverse Olympics. Back and forth. That's the metaverse Whoa. Olympics, right? <laughs> <laughs> If you're listening to this, you did not see all the theatrics, but if you're watching, yeah, that was You're that was the cool stuff, ones. Yeah. But yeah, the Metaverse Olympics is going to be favorites. part of it. So just like riding on joysticks that are seven feet tall. So I like that yeah, one. I That's clickbait. Those worth. are some good stuff. Good stuff. Can I do two more really fast? Uh, Yeah, whatever. These are really fucking Okay. Good. Sorry. Um, or we could save them. Let's do it. Let's okay. get it. Sex toy sponsorship was too racy for curling crowd. Oh, um, yeah, throwing their rocks. I, I mean, I guess it would have been tossing their rocks. <laughs> so it, I'm I'm gonna guess Magnum uh, ice cream. I guess, or I guess that's not a sex toy, but that I was thinking the Magnum ice cream. <laughs> it I, that, can be a sex toy. It can be. Oh, I guess it's more sex toy. Uh, oh, I was thinking the yeah the ice cream because you know ice and but. Yeah, I guess it's just too much. I don't know, too much. I I don't feel like I don't have a good guess at this one. It's okay, no problem. I'm just gonna get into it because it is a funny story. Clickable. Uh, essentially, in ne- the Netherlands, they were having this championship before the final numbers going to Beijing, and it was like the final qualifier there, and it was in the Netherlands. And the Dutch, obviously, a lot more progressive than other people in the world, just had a bunch of sponsors, and apparently, one of them was called Easy Toys, <laughs> which is like the biggest Dutch, the uh, biggest sex toy distributor in the Netherlands and in Belgium and NBC canceled their programming of the tournament for the U S the day, like before it all happened. And a lot of people who uh, were family and friends of the people who were in the tournament trying to get to Beijing couldn't watch. Hmm. And the guy, the Dutch guy who is like running the program was like, I don't see a problem with it. I don't understand why they didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so from that article, I just kind of summarized that America's the Americans are just prudes. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it wasn't phallic in nature, the icon or anything. It just said easy toys, and they pulled the programming of it. So whatever, all the, be, all the should be phallic. They should like yeah. stick one to the curling <laughs> stone, the stone. <laughs> spinning That's around the new handle. <laughs> <laughs> harder, harder, harder. <laughs> That's how yeah. they scream. Sweep, sweep. Right. Clean it up. Tug on it. All right, last one. Yeah, this one's this one's a good one. The Portland Pickles 
need your help finding their stolen mascot, Dylan T. Pickle. That's just clever. Whoever thought of all of those. So it's, uh, um, is it the badminton team with the shuttlecocks? <laughs> the Portland Pickle badminton team with Dylan T. Pickles? Um, uh, some, some minor league sports team or, uh, high school, you know, uh, you know, someone stole it. <laughs> high school. Yeah. Uh, this is serious. All right. And I'm gonna, <laughs> sure it is. Don't, don't F around with pickles. This is not a eunuch looking for his thing. This really happened. This is real. This here is real. Dylan T. Pickle was visiting the Dominican Republic for a special series, uh, baseball series down there and has gone missing on his return home. Oh, I caramba. He was last seen stuffed into a bag <laughs> somewhere in JFK airport with a costume or the purse, like the entire purse. I'm not going to tell. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a boy who cried wolf scenario because as you pointed out, clever marketing strategy, Dylan T pickle. This is not his first adventure that he's been on. Uh. But a lot of the games they have played in the past have been highly engaged. Kids looking for him in Portland, fun stuff like that. But this is serious. He's actually missing, and nobody's taking it for real. Uh oh. So what happened was Delta Airlines essentially lost Dylan T. Pickle <laughs> at JFK Airport. So this is a Home Alone situation <laughs> that we got going on here. Dylan! <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just holding his giant pickle head. Um, I'm really relishing this story. Uh, but the uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what happened was Delta just thought they'd fix the problem by just dropping him off on the front porch of the of the stadium, but they didn't tell the facility managers, and someone just snatched him off the front porch. Oh my! So God. it's for real. They put out APBs for this guy. He is currently missing. Dylan remains missing, and the Portland Pickles just want their gherkin back. So if you know anything about where Dylan T. Pickle is out there in the world, they're willing to accept him back. No questions asked. No accusations or liabilities. They just want their little Dill back. He's just gonna show up on Instagram. Our uh, yeah, adventures of in Cancun, Dylan T. Just partying yeah. <laughs> with the ladies. Oh, he's in Cancun. This is like where in the world is Dylan T. Pickles? <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch that show. Yeah. So I know I went a little long, but no, that cool. one was good. One. And seriously, I hope Dylan makes it home all right. It, it's an inside job, publicity stunt. You know, slow baseball season. You know, they're they're just bringing the hype back. You know, before game one of the season. You know, yeah. oh Dylan's back. Come <laughs> see Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's back. You know, that's that's what it's gonna be. And I hope for his sake that's what happens. Yeah. They don't find a, a beheaded pickle on home base. Like, <laughs> come spring, go, just spring brine training on camp. The ground. Just brine everywhere. <laughs> oh my god! 